Hi guys, welcome to Chidre's Tech Tutorials Educational YouTube channel. If you scroll down, you find Programming Language Tutorials section. In Programming Language Tutorials section, if you scroll to the right side, you find Python Tutorials playlist. If you click on View Full Playlist, you find all my Python tutorials where I am explaining Python in depth and step by step. In the previous videos, we understood how to write and execute Python code, the print function, we understood comments in Python, keywords in Python. In this video, I would like to discuss Python identifiers and naming conventions. We understand identifiers and naming conventions in Python. What are identifiers? Identifiers are names given to the program elements by the programmer. Identifiers are names given to the program elements. What are program elements? What do you see in programs? You see variables, list, set, tuple, dictionary, function, object, etc. Right? So they are all program elements. Who give names to this? We programmers give name to variable, list, set, etc. Right? So user defined names. Identifiers are also called user defined names. Name of a variable, list, set, tuple, dictionary, function, object, etc. are considered as identifiers. Okay. Now we understand identifier naming conventions. What are naming conventions? Naming conventions are the rules for forming identifier names. Are the rules for forming identifier names, guys. For example, while naming a variable, list, set, tuple, dictionary, function, object, class, you have to follow these rules, guys. You have to follow these rules. Let's understand the rules one by one. First, identifiers should be meaningful identifiers should be meaningful for example if you are managing player score in a game okay you are creating a game and you want to manage player score what should be the variable name okay instead of naming the variable yes if you name it score it will be more meaningful right it will be more meaningful let's say you are defining a price of a product instead of giving the variable name p if you give price, it will be more meaningful, right? Your program elements names or identifier names should be meaningful. Next, keywords should not be used as identifiers. Keywords should not be used as identifiers. See, in the previous video, in the previous video, we have displayed the list of keywords, right? You should not use these keywords for naming any variable, function, class, object, list, okay, etc. You should not use these keywords for naming identifiers. Okay. Next, the first character can be an alphabet or underscore. First character can be alphabet or underscore, guys. All succeeding characters can be alphabets, digits, or underscores. After the first character, okay, second, third, fourth, fifth, okay, succeeding characters can be alphabet, can be digit, can be underscore, guys. No special characters are allowed except underscore. Except underscore. No other special characters are allowed, like using the dash, plus, minus, hash, caret symbol. So, only underscore you can use. Not even space, not even space. And identifiers are case sensitive, guys. Identifiers are case sensitive because Python is case sensitive. Here, we have two identifiers, num and num. In this, we have written n capital. Even though both are having the same name, right? Same name, same meaning. They are treated as two different identifiers because in Python, uppercase and lowercase characters are treated differently. Uppercase and lowercase characters are treated differently. It is a case sensitive language. So these two identifiers are treated different guys. I hope you guys have clearly understood the rules. Remember identifiers should be meaningful. Keywords should not be used as identifiers. The first character can be alphabet or underscore. All succeeding characters can be alphabets, digits or underscore. No special characters are allowed except underscore. Okay, not even space guys. And identifiers are case sensitive. I hope you guys have clearly understood what are identifiers and uh, rules for naming the identifiers. For this video tutorial, this much is enough guys. In the upcoming video tutorials, we discuss more about Python in detail, in depth and step by step guys. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.